Um, and I figure we're going to do Surya Kriya, which you're very familiar with. Andrew, we've done a few times. Surya Kriya is a great beginner's yoga set. Surya in Sanskrit means sun, and it's the sun at its peak of the day. So like midday, um, and also can be thought of as the sun at the peak of the year, the summer solstice, which we're approaching. Um, it also can be thought of as the peak of our solar cycle on our birthday. Um, and so Surya Kriya, Kriya is like a practice. So this is a practice with the sun at its peak. And the metaphor here is that we're working with our very own personal solar energy, positive pranic force, yang. So practicing this yoga set will give us the ability to focus, to get things done, whatever we need to get done today, maybe even tomorrow. We'll feel very energized, perhaps more so than usual after yoga class. Uh, enthusiastic, joyful, it'll be good for our digestive system. And it's a good beginner's yoga set. So we're going to start the Kundalini yoga practice as we always do by tuning in from your palms and sitting nice and tall. And let's press the hands together firmly, thumbs tucked up against the sternum. And begin connecting, controlling your prana, your breath. Passing your hands firmly. And keep the breath moving, the energy moving, stretching the breath, your lungs, your diaphragm, your belly. Expanding as you inhale. Relaxing as you exhale, keeping the spine tall. In a moment now, we're going to chant a mantra to tune in, and I'll explain it. It is Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. So repeat after me. Om. Om. So it's like Om. Om. Nice. <laughs> O-N-G. Om. We're vibrating the root of the nose and then the conch of the skull very nasally. And then namo, bowing, guru dev namo, bowing to the divine teacher, the light of the soul and that same light in all hearts. And then om is the infinite creativity. Let's take a deep breath. Let it go. Another deep breath. Let it go. Roll the two eyes upward to look at the third eye and let's inhale deeply to tune in. Oh, Namo. Namo. Twice again. Oh. And sacred breath of life for your sacred life and to relate with, pray with any purpose and practice for your day. And to surrender to let that go. And before we do the Kriya, before we begin, let's just take one warm up exercise with the hands down, top of the knees. We're going to begin Sufi ground, seated circles, hands down for leverage, connecting breath, inhaling forward, exhaling as you round the lower spine back. And with every cycle of movement, 
Bring in a mantra, inhaling silently the sound of sat, exhaling nam. Sat is truth, nam identity. Silently vibrating that mantra at your third eye or at your heart. So the breath, the movement, and the mantra, the spirit, the body, and the mind all coming into harmony. Breathe with your heart and explore the movement further out, closer in, slower, faster, higher, lower. And moving very intuitively, guided by your own breath and body. A few more cycles this direction. And next time we inhale, pause, deep breath. And exhale completely, switch sides, switch directions. Grinding the pubic bone, the base of the spine down to the earth, churning the belly, and vortexing the torso, spiraling the spine. Working the base, the root, and the crown, the two poles, and the center. Last few cycles. And continue the motion, but begin to slow down, moving closer to the center, effortlessly following the movement along the grooves you've created. And closer still, slower, subtle movement. And arriving with a deep breath, and suspend the breath, suspend your attention to the third eye point, holding the breath, and now apply pressure at the base of the spine. It's like going to the bathroom, tone up your nail as though pulling a kegel, draw the navel to the spine, inhale more, exhale, relax, and take a few breaths. Hands to Gyan Mudra, index fingers and thumbs slightly touching. Long deep breaths, being still. Unless otherwise specified in this practice, we breathe in and out through the nose. The drishti, the eye gaze, is directed to the brow center, third eye, and the tip of the tongue rests atop the roof of the mouth. A deep breath, let it go, and let's stretch our legs out and do one more warm up actually. Pull your sit bones out underneath you, roll the shoulders up, back and down, nice perpendicular angle here, toes pointing up. Inhale, arms holding the ears, exhale, hinging from the hips, the heart, and then the head, reach down, grabbing the toes or the ankles or shins. Inhale. Straighten the arms, straighten the spine. Exhale, bend the elbows, pull yourself down. Inhale, bounce back up. Exhale, down. Inhale, sat. Exhale, now. And share your breath and awareness through the back of the legs, sciatic nerves, where you feel the stretch and along the lower back, spine and arms, circulating breath and blood. Strong breathing and movement.
Inhale up. Exhale, bring the legs wide. We'll continue that same motion. Inhale, arms over the ears, turn to the left, exhale down. Inhale, back up, turn to the right, exhale, fold. Few more cycles. Inhale up. Exhale down to the center. Inhale up. Exhale. Hinge and hold. Deep breaths here. Few cycles. And as you exhale, deepen the stretch. And as you inhale, lengthen the spine. Inhale. Exhale, stretch a little further. And inhale, relax. Shake out the legs, massage the backs of the knees. And let's come back to a cross-legged posture. Sitting comfortably, and we'll begin the Kriya with a uh, pranayama, breath control meditation. So we're going to have the right hand in the Gyan Mudra, wisdom seal, and we'll bring the left thumb up to cover the left nostril. And very simple, we'll just begin right nostril breathing, inhaling through the right nostril, exhaling through the right nostril. Consciously relating and communicating with the right channel, Pingala. Masculine, positive, solar channel. Creative, electric. Fire. Sensing, if possible, subtle energy on the right side. Breathing from base to crown and crown to base. Up along the back and down along the front. Stretch the breath. Consciously circulate and experience, feel breath, traveling air through the nostril, throat, lungs, full capacity of the diaphragm and the abdomen.
Anne ne? Inhale through the right nostril. Lower the hand and holding the breath for a moment, apply Mula Bandha Root Lock, the perineum, the sacrum, and the navel, pull in and upward. Inhale more, exhale release. And take a few cycles of breath through both nostrils. Inhale. Exhale. And we're going to move to be seated, flap our heels like this. Sitting on the heels, shins, and tops of the feet to the floor. And you can always use a bolster for yourself to be more comfortable. Now here we're going to have the arms up with the fingers interlaced except for index fingers. Pointing straight up. Face the palms together. Best you can, relax the shoulder blades and shoulders down the back. And we're going to chant that mantra of truth. Sat Na, true identity. We're going to chant from the navel. So we're going to draw the navel in. Sat. And then release it. No. Sat. No. Sat. No. Sat. No. Sat. No. Sat. No. Third eye gaze. Sat. No. Sat. No. Sat. No. Sat. No, sat, 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 no, sat. No, sat, 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 no, sat. No, sat, 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 no, sat. No, sat, 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 no. Sat, no, sat, no, sat, no, 
Sat. Non, pas non, mais Sat. Sat. Non. 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 Inhale. Like a rod of energy, squeeze the spine from the base to the crown, through the arms and fingertips. Holding breath, squeeze the spine. Exhale, sweep the arms through your aura, ground the fingertips, take a balancing breath. And we feel stable, grounded, bring the palms up, top the thighs. You can go to Sukhasana if you'd be more comfortable. A few cycles of breath, meditating here. Seated in the heart, focused at the third eye, breathing from the belly. A deep breath. Let it go. So we're going to actually repeat that exercise again. How was it for you, Serena? It's good. I just have this problem with my left knee, so I can't sit too long on it. But I you can also do that exercise in the Sukhasana, in the cross-legged posture. Yeah, that's more comfortable for you. And then the blankets or cushions can be helpful to sit like that. Uh, but yeah. Thank you. Um, did you understand like the execution? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we're just chanting from that navel center of power, really projecting and vibrating, speaking truth to power. Um, third eye gaze, arms straight, and holding this posture best you can for three minutes, putting the system under pressure so it responds. Take a deep breath. Let it go. Be comfortable, be relaxed, but engaged. And a deep inhale to begin. Sat, nam, 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 sat. No, sat, 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 no, sat. No, sat, 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 no, sat. No, sat, no, 
Sa, na, 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 inhale. And apply Mula Bandha, holding the breath. Rectum, the sex organ, and the navel in that order. Draw in and up. Inhale more. Exhale, sweep the arms. And again, be still, meditate, move the breath. Consciously circulating from the belly. And a deep inhale, a complete exhale, and let's come back into Sukhasana. And we'll have the hands to the shins, and we'll begin the spinal flex motion. So there, just above the ankles, inhale, stretch and flex the spine forward and up. Exhale, round, release the back. Inhale, stretch forward from the navel, up through the heart. Exhale, round. And you may meditate on the same mantra, inhaling silently sat, exhaling nam, starting at a moderate pace. Keeping the chin parallel. So the head is in alignment with the spine. And as you create more flexibility, be more fluid, free to flow, as you feel called, you can speed up. Concentrating on the third eye point, undulating the spine like a wave to affect the craniosacral channel and bring harmony to the brain waves, have them be more alert and focused and meditative, balanced like that. In a minute. Stretching spine, stretch it a little further, breathe a little deeper. Last little bit, speed up if you feel called. Cool. 
Exhale, release, round spine. Inhale, come forward. Deep breath in the belly. From there, bring the energy down. And from there, squeeze it. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Applying Mula Bandha root lock to still the waves of thought, internal pressure. Inhale more. Exhale, release. And bring the palms to face up, top the knees. Connect the index fingers and thumbs. And deep breaths. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Let's come up to a low squat. So knees will be wide. And we're balancing on the balls of the feet and the toes. Ideally, keeping the heels connected above the floor and balancing on the fingertips and thumbs. Here, facing forward. Chest lifted. This is the exhale posture. We'll inhale to then stretch the legs straight. Coming up, keeping the heels connected off the floor. And then we'll exhale back down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And keeping the movement and the breath going. The quicker you move, the easier it is, creating momentum. serving to transform the energy in the lower chakras, to balance them through the heart to the upper chakras. Halfway. Great workout exercise. Last little bit. Inhale up. Ground the heels and slowly rise up. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And stand tall, I can have a light bend in the knees, palms facing forward. Breathing through the root line, navel, sacral, base, and from the soles of the feet. Circulating your breath, really rooted. Deep breath, let it go, and we'll return to a comfortable posture, sitting. And we'll begin turning the head left to right. Inhaling as you turn the head to the left, exhaling as you turn the head to the right. Inhaling the silent vibration of truth, sat, exhaling, nam, identity.
انا امال ايه In the health center, meditate the third eye and apply root lock as they're holding going to the bathroom, applying the kegel, turn the perineum, draw the navel in, inhale more, exhale release. Take a few breaths. And inhale, exhale, if you need to stretch the legs, do so. We'll have uh, two more exercises. This next one will have the hands top the shoulders, fingers in the front, thumbs toward the back, and we'll begin spinal bends, bending over to the left, inhaling, exhaling over to the right. Inhaling, silent, soft, truth. Exhaling, silent, non. We think a thousand thoughts every blink of the eye. Most of them aren't even true. So using a mantra of truth to tune the mind and just like we're tuning the body through the yoga set, tuning to truth being an instrument of true vibration. We cultivate a lot of prana, and then we circulate prana and distribute it in a really balanced way. And so this is one of those exercises that's serving to distribute. So get the corners, hips, shoulders, open the ribs, space between the ribs, Share your breath, share your light and awareness. Stretch and breathe, meditating on satnam. Halfway. Uh, 
bending over the sides, keeping the elbows nice and parallel, aligned with the shoulders. On a little bit. Stretch and breathe a little deeper. Inhale to center. And apply more band root lock. And now exhale and begin to apply diaphragm lock, suckling in the navel, the ribs, lifting the heart and diaphragm, just like you see in photos of yogis. Suck in the ribs, lift the heart, squeeze the spine and ribs. Hold and breath out. And then inhale to release that pressure. Keep the heart wide, chest wide. And our final exercise for Surya Kriya is a self-healing meditation. So we're gonna be working with that mool band, the root lock. So those kind of lower pelvic mechanics. Was it working for you? Did you understand? Yeah, <laughs> cool. Yeah, it kind of is something that we just work with, and the more we relate with it, the more it communicates with us, and we don't need to force it. The energy just kind of wants to relate with us and circulate and be free. So we're going to have the navel drawn in the whole time, and we're going to have the root lock applied the whole time as we breathe in and out. This is a deep self healing meditation working with the very primal Shakti energy of Kundalini, which is that heart healing energy for us in our life. The gaze is invited to be through the brow point. The breath is invited to be smooth and with every cycle of breath, to be meditating on the silent sound current of Satanam, true identity, true reality, true vibration, and hands are invited to be in Gyan Mudra. But just most importantly, that connection is made with the root line. The navel is drawn in, pressure, and a light pressure of the Mula Bandha is applied. And as we meditate here over the course of a fair few minutes, you can start to apply more pressure. You can always ease up the pressure to only apply it again. Begin that communication. Spine is nice and tall, sitting perfectly. Tip of the tongue, roof of the mouth.
listening to the mantra, listening to the breath, listening to your body and the pelvic intelligence, primal wisdom of the subconscious and unconscious infinite wisdom, meditating at the third eye. about halfway, stay with it, concentrate, meditate, vibrate, sat -nam. Keep a light pressure on, maybe increase its intensity over time. Open channel through the heart and throat. Breathing clearly, purified, pranic channel, power of the sun, focus. Time a few breath cycles. Increase the intensity of the root lock, Mula Bandha. This serves to accomplish the stilling of the waves of thought. Internal pressure creating stillness in the mind. And take a deep breath and let it go. And be free to continue to meditate or stretch the body. And when you feel complete, then resting on the back in Savasana, corpse pose, completely letting go.
resurrect your breath. Breathing life back to the belly, the body like that. And returning the movement to the fingers and the toes, wiggling, rotating the wrists and the ankles, wide circles in both directions. Stretch the arms up overhead, back behind you, and point the toes, stretching the legs forward. Wake up, stretch. Hug the right knee into the chest, cross it up and over the left leg, and turn the face to the right, keeping the shoulders rooted. Bring the knee close to the earth, left hand, and right arm stretching out side. When you're ready, switch sides. And then back to center, rub the soles of the feet and the palms of the hands. Hug the knees into the chest and rock forward and back. And come up to a comfortable cross legged seat. And just like we tuned in, we'll tune out, holding our very own hands at our heart center. And we'll chant the sound of Salman Chats. Deep breath. Let it go and sharing resonance of truth from our hearts to all parts of ourself and all our relations. Deep breath to tune in. So... No. So... No. So. No. And the power of the sun within each of us and to its guidance and honing of our ability to focus and to heal our life by just bringing more positive beauty beauty and purpose direction like that of our inner light let us bow our head in great self-respect love and gratitude to ourselves to connecting with that guiding inner light into the light of our soul bowing and to the light of this practice, Satnam. Satnam, thank you, Samina. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. Satnam, Diel, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Nice to be here. I'll see you Wednesday. Sweet. See you Wednesday. Bye. 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 Oh, you know, uh, we're going to start going outside, I think. I remember, remember that at the okay. lighthouse. Oh, sweet. At 6 a.m.? Yeah. That will be awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, me too. Peace. Okay. You too. Bye. Look at our prince. Aww.